The Tory leadership hustings uh, has moved to Scotland. In Perth they are this evening. Liz Truss, uh, Rishi Sunak have promised greater scrutiny of the Scottish government uh, once they move into number 10. So it's got me pondering tonight. Um, do you think either of them would make a difference in Scotland? And the SNP generally, have they been a success or a failure in Scotland? Mariana Hotter, I'll start with you. Your thoughts? Well, I think most pertinent at the moment is to say, what's the situation with the Scottish Conservatives and the answer is parlous. I mean, in the, the May local elections, um, the SNP gained 22 seats, so they're up to 453 councillors. Conservatives lost 63 councillors. Lib Dems, Scottish Greens, um, the Le and Labour, they all gained where the Conservatives lost. So the kind of question is, obviously, Rishi Sunak or Liz Truss is going to become the Prime Minister. But at this point, they're lobbying for support from, from Scottish Conservatives, particularly members of the Scottish Conservative Party. So it's kind of an interesting combination. I think it's very telling, though, that they've both come out with quite strong statements today talking about how important it is to preserve the union, that they are is clearly um, looking forwards in their calendar of what fires they're going to have to fight a little bit <laughs> further down the road they're thinking the state of the union is pretty shambolic. The SNP are just waiting to leverage that enormous grassroots support they've got throughout Scotland at all different socioeconomic levels, all different classes. At a certain, <laughs> certain point, you know, the question, has the SNP failed Scotland? Well, their stated aim is to be a national party that campaigns for um, independence. And they're, I mean, they're not failing on that front by any stretch of the imagination.